Hey, this is Ellie from the Maxon training team. And in this Redshift quick tip, I'm gonna show you the flake shader node and also how we can use it to create a metallic car paint material. Create yourselves a standard Redshift material and open up the node editor. First, let's take a look at the flake shader. Double click or pop out the new side panel to search for the node, then drag and drop it into the editor. The flake shader is a procedurally driven bump texture perfect for creating a sparkly reflection effect, and it works by randomly changing the orientation of each flake relative to the object surface normal. You'll connect the output normal to the bump map input on your standard material, and you don't need to use a bump node for this. You can control the size of the flakes by adjusting the scale. Larger values will generate bigger flakes, and lower values will generate smaller flakes. Density will adjust the distribution across the surface. Higher values will create more densely packed flakes and lower values will create the opposite effect. You can even drive this input with a texture. For example, you could use a max on noise to add varying density values. The randomized setting works a bit like the intensity or strength of the flakes and it controls how far they'll be tilted away from the original surface normal. Again, higher values will create more intense and obvious flakes as the light is able to catch them better whereas low values will appear less prominent and a value of zero will show no flakes at all. This random setting can also be controlled by a texture. Just like other features inside Cinema 4D, we also have a seed value, allowing you to drive the random position and orientation of the flakes. And finally, you can set the flake shape to either Dot or Voronoi, and when Dot is selected, it opens up two new parameters where you can define the size of the dots and also how much they vary in size. Now let's use this to create a metallic car paint shader. First, you'll want to increase the material metalness to one and change the base color to define the main car paint color. Then you can use the reflection color to control the tint seen in the reflections. Increase the roughness for a slightly softer look, then head down to the coat properties to add a clear glossy coating over the top. Now to define the flakes. For smaller flakes, just reduce the scale size to 0.1. And for this car paint look, we want them covering the entire surface. So let's increase the density to one. Finally, reduce the strength of the flakes by setting randomized to 0.2. For a more metallic look, you could even recolor the flakes by connecting the output ID into a ramp node, select your colors, then plug this into the material base color input. Now you've got your very own Redshift Metallic Car Paint Shader. Thanks for watching. If you like these quick tips, please like and subscribe.